Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you like seeing my videos and you want to keep on seeing more, please click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Today is a toasty day in Southwest Florida. It's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, there's a little wind, which is nice. We're in rainy season, so the storms will probably be coming through. I see some dark clouds over there, so uh, any time now we'll probably be getting some storms. Uh, my orchids love it, so I love it. Um, today what I want to talk to you about is plant and orchid friends and hangers, which is a little bit of an odd combination of things uh, to be talking about. Um, but what I'm finding out is the, uh, the more orchid friends that I get, the more orchids that I get, and the more hangers that I need to make to hold the orchids that I get. So these are some of the orchids uh, behind me, and I call these guys, these are my orchid uh, kids right here. These, this is my nursery. These are my orchid uh, babies. My orchid friends are, are people, and these are people that I interact with, and we have, uh, we have orchid uh, exchanges. So I need to acknowledge, uh, you know, Jim, um, Anne-Marie, uh, Regine, um, Maria, who else, who else? Oh, and my most recent friend is, is, is Glenn, and this and this and this are from uh, Glenn, and Glenn uh, was uh, selling his collection, and uh, luckily I was one of the first to, uh, to get over and see what he had, and I got I, I, what I thought were some, were some great plants at, at an incredible, uh, incredible deal of a price, but um, that's, just, uh, that's just part of the story here. And, but I also want to thank the other, you know, my other friends who have gifted me uh, lots of different orchids. And, and I try to be a friend to others, so I try to gift people orchids, especially my, the babies here uh, for them to nurture along, but uh, plants and, and other things uh, as well. And I want to share with you some of these, uh, some of these orchids and how, how special they are uh, to me. So let's, let's take a look at this one first. And this is, this is actually one that I used to have. So this is um, Green Veil Dressy. And it's a mount, and it is just uh, loaded. The nice thing about Green Veil is, is the, fra the fragrance, as you can guess. It's really, it's an incredibly fragrant plant. And the thing that I like about it, it's not a really sweet, perfumey. It's more of a, um, it's more of an herby um, uh, scent to it. So it's just beautiful. It's really nice, and it's different. The flowers are smaller, but as you can see, uh, the flowers are uh, they're they're in bunches, and it's just a great plant. What you may be able to see on this also are some tags that I have on the back of the plant and some flowers that don't look as good anymore. And, and I was bad. I, what I did is I crossed them. I crossed two of the flowers on this plant with uh, another plant that I have. So what I'm trying to do is get some bigger, um, bigger flowers on this guy and we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how long these flowers are going to hold up considering how warm it is here. Uh, but it's okay because they're they're doing they're doing just so nicely. So again, this is Green Veil Dressy that I used to have and now I have again. This is another another beauty, another really nice uh, orchid, and this is Burana um, Burana. <laughs> I'm sorry, Burana Beauty Burana. <clears throat> And I should say the Greenvale Ressa Dressy and uh, Barana Beauty, these are, these are pretty common, so these are not unusual orchids. Uh, but this is another nice uh, splash type orchid uh, where you have multiple flowers. 
And this one, this is the only one that I have in my collection that, to me, just smells like roses. It's just beautifully fragrant like roses. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to have this one uh, as well. And when I picked this one up, it was in Spike, but it had bloom. But when I, when I looked at it, I, I, was, I, I looked it up just to make, just to see what it looked like. And it's a smaller flower than I normally have in my collection, but uh, the fragrance just kind of wins you over. It just smells like roses. Um, and, and then what I did, I'm going to show you this also, and I was bad on this one too. See, there's a tag. So I crossed this flower with one, uh, with a polinia that I've had in my uh, polinia box for, for quite a while. So I crossed this. And, and we'll see. Again, these flowers are a little small compared to what I normally have, and uh, I crossed it onto a really big, fragrant white flower. So anyway, this is, a nice, uh, this is a nice plant, and I'm hopeful that this cross that I made will be, will come out really nice, okay? The other thing, uh, well, this one, I haven't really done anything with, uh, with this one. It's a lone flower on this plant. It has a nice fragrance. It's a classical fragrance, but don't want to get into that. But what I want to, sh what I, because I, I, I've been picking up so many orchids lately, um, things are starting to get a little crowded. So my, my fence is, I, I had, I started out with originally with one layer of orchids that were hanging from my fence. But now as I'm adding more orchids to my collection, I had to go a second layer down. So now I've got two layers of orchids. And when I go over some of these people's houses, my new orchid friends' houses, and I see the orchids that they have, they have them really put in every crevice and corner in their yard. And I'm not sure I want to go there. Um, I like the orchids. I'm not sure I want that many of them where it looks crowded. Um, so I now have two layers of orchids on my fence. The other thing is my pergola. So I have an orchid pergola, and the orchids in my orchid pergola have been, uh, they, they were spread out pretty good, and initially when I, uh, when I put, started mounting orchids in the pergola, I had a few, but now it's starting to get a little more crowded, so I gotta little, be a little bit more careful. Uh, and so I'm mounting some on trees and I'm doing some other things and then I'm gaining uh, more orchid friends by uh, gifting some of my orchids, especially my orchid babies because I have so many of them. So um, what I want to do today, the second thing that I want to do in the, in the video today is go over how to make hangers. Now I had a video on how to make a, a pot hanger like I have right here and this pot hanger click clips clips into the side of a pot. Got a pot here, so it, and usually I, I use uh, clay pots. So it clips on the side of the pot and you use this to hold up the pot like, like this. And this works fine, like I said, on uh, clay pots. Clay, and they tend to be pretty heavy. Um, so, and I made, <laughs> I have a video on this that I've already made and I've shared that with you. And after, um, over the past couple of weeks, I've made about uh, 10 new hangers like this. Uh, they're really cheap to make. They're actually not that expensive to buy, but I like making them because I'm, I'm pretty thrifty. The other thing and what I want to show you today is how to make one of these, which is a wire hanger. So this is... Um, uh, really thin. These are all galvanized, um, galvanized metal, and what it's just for rust uh, protection. So this this is a uh, this, this is hanger wire, and actually this other is also hanger wire here, also galvanized uh, metal, so to, for rust protection. But this starts starts out. I want to show you how to make one of these. So this is what you do uh, to have wire hangers. It has four wires on the bottom of it here and you use these to uh, bend it and clip that either into uh, holes uh, in your in your pot um, or just some some pots that come uh, with holes already in it but I want to show you real fast how to make one of these it's pretty straightforward um, to make them again these are pretty inexpensive just to buy uh, but I like to I like to make them just because again I'm thrifty. Uh, when you you make these the wire hanger, 
um, out of these. This is a suspended ceiling uh, hanger wire is what you use. This, you can, you can buy these. This is just hanger wire that you can buy in these groups. Uh, the individual length of, I'm going to pull one out here. The individual length of one of these is, uh, they're, they're 24 inches here. And um, you get 24 of them in a pack for $4. So they end up being about 35 cents each to make one of these. So I want to show you how I make them. It's not that hard to make. I might, I might even run through it twice. Um, and uh, again, this is, this is really straightforward uh, to do this. So if you want a four wire hanger, you would get two of these wires uh, right here. And you put them, you put them together at the top, you bring them together. And what you have to do, and this is where the little bit of a, the challenge is, what you have to do is uh, twist the wire to make this the top of it. All right, so what you do is you take the wire and you bend them together so that you've got the four wires real close side by side here. You then take a vice grips and you clip, you hold it real tight, and this is what you use to hold the four pieces of wire in place like this. All right, so what you're doing is you have this clipped in tight, and then you take a, I, I like to take a Phillips screwdriver and hold the opening in the wire and then twist. And this is going to take a while and I'll probably speed it up so that you won't have to listen to me talk through all of this. Okay, so that was a lot of twisting, but you twist it enough so that it so that you can still get it off of the end. See, it's still pretty loose, so you can get it off at the end of the screwdriver. So let me take it off at the end of the screwdriver, and what you have is a little, I'm sure you can see that, but you have a little, little uh, area at the top, and what you then do is just bend this down to make a hook. And this is pretty, this is pretty easy to do. So because of this wire and it's pretty thin, you can't really use this to mount heavy pots, but it's certainly fine for most of the things that you've got to mount. So this is what the, uh, this is what the hanger looks like. And again, what you have here at the bottom is these four wires that you can then spread out in the different directions and use that to clip, clip on to a pot. I want to show you one other thing, um, and that's how to make holes in the pot. If you need to do that, you can buy some pots that already have holes in them, but I can show you how to make holes uh, in, in the pot. And so you can do that by, so if it, and, and that, that, what I'm talking about is a plastic pot. So a lot of people, um, they'll just drill holes uh, in the pot. I don't like doing that um, too much because when you drill holes, you, can, you, you potentially can crack the pot. Even though it's plastic, you can crack the pot just a little bit, and I don't really like doing that. So what I like doing is melting holes uh, in the pot. So what I have is a wire here, and I've got my torch. Uh, if you don't like this, drill the holes. It's fine. Um, but what, what you do, and you got to be careful so you don't burn yourself, but you get this hot, and that's pretty hot right there. And then I marked where I wanted to put these holes in the pot. And so there's four holes. I mean, I, and I like, I prefer doing it this way again because I think it's less likely to crack when you make these holes. And these are small holes that can then easily, that can be, where you can then insert the individual wires from here 
into the holes that are in this pot. So this will hang just like this. And again, you can't use too much. You got to be careful. You don't want to use too much weight here. Um, you don't want to certainly don't want to fill this with, with lava stone and a huge orchid. But you can use a smaller pot or, um, you know, a smaller orchid and that would be just fine. Okay. So what I've been doing again over the past few weeks is making a lot of hangers and adding the, my new orchids to my collection. And it's been really enjoyable to watch these guys bloom and grow and do everything that they do. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed um, learning about some of my new orchids and uh, seeing how I make pot hangers. So that's all I have for today. Happy propagating.